You could franchise them to buy yourself another year if you want to, but you do run the risk of possibly uh, something gobbling them up and taking two first-round picks and all that and being forced to maybe give them more than you want to give them, but can you really afford to let him go? And I think they're, the way he played, Michael, that's no joke. That, that That's not... Uh, a lot of this year it was like, all right, just trying to get the most out of Daniel Jones. He did something no quarterback had ever done. Throw for 300 yards, two touchdown passes, and run for over 70 yards. It had never been done in playoff history. He did it. That's his first playoff game. Even Eli Manning wasn't great in his first playoff game. No, or his was second terrible. playoff game. It wasn't until his third playoff game in Tampa that he all of a sudden became Eli. Easy E. This guy right out of the box, Peter, so I don't know if the Giants can really afford to lose him. No, I mean, listen, it was it was a hell of a show by Daniel Jones. There's no way around it. I, I, I can't wait. I was thinking about it afterwards because I was intrigued. Well, first of all, my social media, of course, has been full of people just yelling at me. You say Daniel Jones stinks, blah, blah, blah. How about that? Which you never said. Which I've never said at all. But it's fine. I'll play along. But I was taken a little bit by what Coach Dable said after the game. Yeah, he, he wasn't effusive. He, it was very interesting to me. D Don, that screamed, this is a guy we're franchising. Because otherwise, why would you be so mod? His answer was, when they asked him, good. He was good. And they said, well, why are you, why are you being so... Yeah, he was much more effusive about Kenny Galladay's block. Than they, he was about Daniel, Daniel Jones. Jones well, no, no, he was good. He was but, good. He's, but you don't sense the game? You got to do that with Galladay because the fan base doesn't like him. So I'm wondering is it is it a game that Dable plays? Like, listen, we know how good Jones is. All right. Fans know how good he is. I, I don't have to throw praise at the guy. He doesn't need it. Galladay needs it because the fan base doesn't believe in him. So I'm going to accentuate the one good thing that he did because the fan base is not in love with but him. But what's the but downside? We're going to need him move forward. I, I think it's all a game that's being played. But what's the downside of saying, oh, man, Daniel's terrific today? Thrilled with him. Thrilled because with him. I guess he doesn't want to give the guy even more ammunition if they don't franchise him and try to sign him to a deal. Oh, look, the coach said he was phenomenal. Now he's just... Yeah, but that's a Shane thing. You think coaches worry about yeah, that in the working, now? Yeah, I think they're working hand-in-hand. No, hand. not the coach. You sure. Then why? Then, if I, then, then give me an answer. He was clearly more than good. At least very well, good. I, I think it's a game that's played from a sense of let's not, let's not blow up the guy's ego here. There's still more games to be won here. Uh, does it show more support to to not overly praise him because hey we know how good he is. You guys could all be surprised about how good he is. We're not we're not surprised. We expect him to do yeah, that. But... Because I can't imagine a coach. You know how these coaches are, Michael. They're so focused on the next play, the next game, the next moment. I don't think he's strategically talking about somebody that they're going to have to deal with during the offseason for a contract. All all Dable's thinking about is the Philadelphia Eagles and trying to advance to the championship game. That's a game that's going to be played after the season is over as far as the contract's concerned. I think he's trying to just keep everybody even keeled for the guys that are working and then build up the ego of a guy that really hasn't done much this year in Galladay. So I, I think that's all just coach speak for just now, getting them ready for the next game. Michael, did you see anything from Jones that changed your feelings on him? Like, did Obviously, it was a good performance, but did he do anything that made you go, oh, my gosh, this guy really could be the guy? Well, I, I mean, I've always thought he was a decent quarterback. I just, I, I guess we're just a product of, of timing here where he's going to get a lot of money. I don't know if I would give him $50 million a year, but I, I love the pass that he had to Hodgins. That was good. He kind of slid in the pocket and reset himself and threw a great pass. It was almost Manning to Manningham-esque. Yeah, I, I'll, even even something that's also very underrated, if you go back to 20, uh, 2007 in the championship game against the Packers, the Manning throw to Toomer where he toe-tapped and, and dove for the ball. It was that that level, which kind of got lost in the game because the, the, the Giants ran to the line of scrimmage thinking that they were going to review it. So we only got one really good look on replay in the moment where that play could have been talked about a lot more than it was. I think the thing that I was most taken by from this weekend is just how unbelievable it is that this is the same Giants team again. This is 2007. This is 2011. Mm -hmm. This is like they really they may they may have the most consistent identity across decades of any football team in this league, of any team in sports. Like they are really built the same way in a lot of ways. Sure, sometimes the running game's better. Sometimes you have, you know, a better receiver core, Manningham and Amani Toomer and receivers that may be more known. But at the same time, it's built on great defense. 
disciplined, smart, hardworking offense, good coaching. They literally, there's nothing. This team on paper, the only star on offense, star, don't be offended, Daniel Jones lovers, the only star on offense is number 26. That is the only star. You have a lot of good players, including Daniel Jones, who might be a really good player. But you guys can't. Well, this isn't the Kansas City Chiefs. This isn't a team doing it on talent. This is a team doing it on hard work, uh, coaching, and smart football. 